Hello, I'm standing outside St Nicholas and St Mary's Primary School in Shoreham by Sea. Welcome to St Nicholas and St Mary's Primary School. I am here and it's very quiet because of course of the lockdown. But we've been thinking about the 50th anniversary of our school. So do join me as we go on that journey. If you are a former member of staff, governor, or indeed pupil who have been in the school over the last 50 years, we'd love you to send us your memories of things that have happened here. So do be in touch and do send us your memories. So this stone was laid by the Bishop of Lewis on the 16th of January, 1970. And 50 years to the day, we celebrated and gave thanks to God for 50 years since the foundation stone was laid. And here is Mr. Lincoln, Bishop of Chichester, Reverend Anne, and Father James leading our assembly. Bishop Martin, the Bishop of Chichester, attended our assembly and led us throughout. The opening section of our celebration, we used the same order of service that we had used when the school originally opened. Our school used to be called just St Nicholas, not St Nicholas and St Mary. It was in an old small building near St Nicholas Church, Old Shoreham. It had a small playground and the toilets were outside and it was decided that we needed a new school. The school had a special service outside to lay the new foundation stone of this new building. The local newspaper reported the special event. The building in the background that you can see isn't the school, it is the scout hut. Here are the children singing. You can see the girls were wearing berets, which was part of the school uniform. These photos show a close-up of the foundation stone being laid. The builders used a chain and winch to help the bishop get it into place. The newspaper reported the foundation stone of the new £86,000 St Nicholas and St Mary's School at the corner of Eastern Avenue and Upper Shoreham Road, Shoreham, was laid yesterday by the Bishop of Lewis, the Right Reverend J. H. L. Murrell. The report goes on to say, the school which will take 320 children will have a music and drama room and a large work room opening out onto a covered terrace for arts and crafts. An extensive library will form the central part of the school which is for children aged 5 to 11. So if the original school could take 320 children and had 8 classrooms, then 320 divided by 8 equals up to 40 children per class. Now, are you 10 years old? Many of the children in our school are about 10 years old. And the papers at the time reported that it took 10 years of hard work to keep St Nicholas open and not let it be closed forever. And in order to be able to do that, they had to open the new school. When St Nick's was started, Old Shoreham and New Shoreham were two separate places, but now they are one large town. When St Nick's moved to its new school site, it served both the parishes of St Nicholas and St Mary de Hora. So it was renamed St Nicholas and St Mary's. The builders finished building the school in 1971. It seemed very modern, but there were no computers or iPads. This is the store in the main hall. You can see the decorators finishing it off. This is what the new school looked like. You can still see the builders ladders because they had not finished painting it. And, as this picture shows, that's where the library is now, and the toilets, the music room, more toilets, and blue whales. These white blocks show where our new staff room is, the small hall, and to our right, the Ark, a brand new building. This is what it looked like a few years ago. The new small hall is just to the left, 
and you can see that the canopy to the Ark has not yet been built. Our original building that opened in 1971 has had several extensions over the years. Most notably, we had a small hall built uh, in the corner of the playground, as well as a staff room too. This is the original entrance to the school, but with a new porch. You can see where the foundation stone was laid originally, in the corner behind the bench. Here is a close-up of the foundation stone. In our original assembly, we asked lots of children to sing and play the musical instruments, and we made a joyful noise to the Lord as we sang, The wise man built his house upon the rock. We didn't make a recording at the time, but one of our year six bubbles has made the following recording, which you're very welcome to join in. When the school expanded, we had a new foyer built and I asked the builders to move the foundation stone as we did not want it to be plastered over. At that time, we also had a new small hall built. You can see the builder's scaffolding that's still outside the window. We also had some more toilets and a new staff room, which for some reason has got lots of chocolate in it. The school has continued to grow from around 200 to over 400 pupils. So eight more classrooms, an art room and other small rooms were built. In 2017, the Bishop of Chichester opened our new building called the Ark, which has eight classrooms, an art room and many other small group rooms and offices in it too. And this enabled us to move from one form of entry to two forms of entry. So the school has grown and expanded over the years and one of the extensions was between the two classrooms on the end, the middle classroom uh, used to be an outside area and that got filled in to be another classroom. Also you can see this lovely white canopy has been added in recent years. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine, and does not put them into practice, is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew against and beat that house, and it fell down with a great crash. Hi, I'm Mr Lincoln and I'm the Associate Head Teacher here at St Nicholas and St Mary. Um, and as a Church of England school, we've been for the last 50 years
building on our and living throughout our Christian values. Um, and at present, as you can see behind me here, are our Christian values that we've been focusing on. And we have our value of hope, creativity, friendship, respect and compassion. And as I said, as a Church of England school, um, for us, what's absolute key is that Jesus and the life he lived is the rock. It's the bedrock of what we live on. And everything that we do is built on that through our work with families, with children. And it underpins everything that we do as a school. Dear Lord, we thank you for this school building. We thank you for Mr Cullen and all those who helped to get it built. We also thank you for all the staff, governors, parents and volunteers, past and present, who have served our school over the last 50 years so that we might love to learn and learn to love. We also thank you for the diocese who continue to help and guide us. But most of all, we thank you that you are a rock and our foundation upon who we can build our lives. Amen. Lord, help us to respect others and to look after everything you have given us. Help us to be kind and show understanding for others. Help us to use our talents and to do the best we can in all we do. Thank you for loving us and always being with us, even when things are difficult. Amen. In our assembly, we finished with the song, Give Thanks with a Grateful Heart. And that was the whole purpose of our assembly, which was to give God thanks for 50 years of our new school building. And if you watch the awesome assembly tomorrow, you'll hear some children singing that song. And then we concluded our service with a blessing by Bishop Martin. So the school was dedicated in 1971. And that was our dedication day when the bishop and others formally opened school when it was built. And we've got this photograph here of two children who took part in that. So I hope you've enjoyed this assembly, looking back at our assembly when we celebrated the 50th anniversary of the laying of the foundation stone. And of course the school was dedicated in March 1971 and we would love by 2021 March we would love to have your memories so if you are a former pupil former governor former member of staff or parent we'd love you to send in our memories please do it by making it on an A4 sheet of paper so that we can assemble them all into a lovely book to keep maybe put on our website so we've got a good historical record and lots of lovely memories so we can be grateful for all the lovely things that have happened here in this school St Nicholas and St Mary's so do send it in and the details will be on the link below this video thank you we hadn't expected in our 50th year to be part of a nationwide lockdown of schools so we have been producing awesome assemblies on a daily basis so do take a closer look at some of our awesome assemblies on YouTube, including one all about Noah. Thank you for watching.